leather jacket here. It's quite badly scuffed. And uh, there's a lot of colour loss on the arm there, as you can clearly see. There's also a very small tear on the arm, just here. It's not gone right through the leather, but we can actually repair that by actually gluing that back down. As you can see, it's just starting to lift the fibres away just here. So that can be easily repaired. To do, to do this, we need the leather care kit, which contains the, the cleaner in a gel form, the protection cream, you get a terry towel in there, you also get a soft brush in there as well to do the cleaning and two sponges. One to apply the cleaner and then the other one to apply the protection cream. To do the recolouring where all the colour loss has actually happened you need the leather jacket colour repair kit to do this. If we take a closer look, you can clearly see that there is a lot of colour loss on the jacket. You can see how that's all faded and gone right through here on these particular areas. There's a lot of colour loss just in here as well. Obviously we've got the tear here that which we're going to repair as well. The first stage of the process is to obviously carry out the cleaning using the cleaning products. The final item that we need to carry out the repair is the leather glue kit. That is going to enable us to actually repair this little tear that you see here on the arm. That's going to be the first stage that we're going to do is to actually repair that particular tear. First stage in the process is going to be cleaning the leather down with the leather care kit. In the leather care kit you get your sponges, you get a brush, You get your gel cleaner, you get the protection cream which you're going to put on once the job is actually completed and you get your terry towel. So just give that a little bit of a shake to mix up all the products to ensure that the cleaning action is done thoroughly because you can't actually do any colouring or repairs until you've actually done the full cleaning process to the leather. This is a gel cleaner which works extremely well. Very good deep down cleaning action. We're going to clean in a circular motion with this. This will also help soften the leather and put nutritive agents and oils back into the leather to make it nice, soft and supple again. We're just going to clean that all over. You can see the dirt coming off there. Once we've done that, we're going to agitate it slightly with a brush. Just allow that to soak in for a couple of minutes. And then we can agitate that over with a brush. Got to get right into the creases here so that we can recolour those as well. As you can see, there's plenty of dirt on there that's come off the sleeve. It's making the colour a lot brighter already because it's putting all the nutritive oils back into the surface. And I'll give that a bit of an agitation with the soft brush. and then wipe the excess away with the cloth and that'll lift all the dirt off. As you can see it's certainly pulling off plenty of dirt.
That's the leather all cleaned. It now feels very nice and soft and supple again. That's now ready to have the small nick here re-glued back together and bonded together again so it's almost invisible and can't be seen. The next stage in the process is to use the leather tear repair kit. In the kit you get all your backing fabric that you need in black and in white for lighter coloured leathers. You also get in the kit a complete set of instructions telling you exactly how to repair the tear that you get in your leather, whether it be on a car seat, a jacket or a sofa. You get some small toothpicks which are going to help you to put the leather, in, the leather glue into the actual cut itself. And then you've actually got the glue itself, the leather glue. We need to obviously nip the top off the bottle there, so we'll do that now. Just need a pair of scissors just to nip off the top. And then we can get some glue out. Because this hole isn't right the way through, we don't actually need to use the backing fabric because we can actually bond this back to the, the surfaces that's already there because it's actually got leather there. So we just need to squeeze a small amount of glue into those holes. It's got the glue in there. Now this is all fully dried, we can now proceed with the leather jacket colour repair kit. In the kit is everything that you will ever need to recolour the sections here on this leather jacket. Again, complete kit instructions are included in the kit. With the instructions you get all the help that you sort of need to do with colour mixing, how to mix the colours, fixing the damage, and applying the finish and what all the colours do and obviously contact details to contact us if you do need further help and advice which we're more than welcome and free to give. In the kit you get all your little accessories that you need to help you to do this. You get two application sponges, you get your small mixing pot if you do have to need to mix the colour You get your main base colour, as in this instance, it's the black, with it being a black leather jacket. With the black kit, you will also get tinters. You'll get a white if you need to make it lighter, the red if you wanted to change the tones, and the blue if you need to make it darker. You also get your alcohol cleaner. That will enable you to wipe down the surface to remove any fingerprints and grease to enable the surface to be properly prepped, ready for taking the colour. The final stage, once all the colour has been applied, is you get a PU matte finish and a PU gloss finish. With this particular jacket, I would actually mix the two together so that you actually get a satin finish. So those two can be mixed together to obtain that. Right, the next stage is to actually wipe the surface down to make it perfectly clean, to remove all grease and grime and dirt, is to use the alcohol cleaner. And just apply a small amount of this onto a cloth. I'm just going to wipe this over the surface. This will actually prepare the leather ready for painting. As you can see, it is removing some further dirt and grime. Just need to gently wipe that over the surface, just to ensure that the paint is free of all contaminants, so that the leather colourant will actually take to the surface.
That's that all cleaned and prepped, now ready to take the leather colourant. That'll take just a few seconds to dry, with it being an alcohol based cleaner, that'll evaporate quite quickly. As you can clearly see, the leather is very faded in areas, and quite badly scuffed. The little rip that was in here, it's almost disappeared. It's just virtually like a little sort of natural line in the leather, almost like a grain mark now. So that'll be totally invisible for the time we've finished and be unrecognisable to the naked eye. Now we're going to actually apply the colour to the leather jacket arm to bring that back to how it would have been originally. Just need to give the bottle a little bit of a shake. Nothing vigorous because obviously it's a PU water based product so you do, what you don't want to do is actually to create a lot of air bubbles within the dye. We'll apply a small amount first of all just to see how the colour is compared to the rest of the jacket before we proceed to do the whole item. We're going to put this on by dabbing it on rather than wiping it on because if you, if you wipe it on you're going to end up with a streaky finish so you need to dab it on which gives you a much more realistic finish just like the leather is now. We can just dry that area very quickly with the hair dryer. So you're going to get a bit of noise from this. That'll dry in a few seconds. That'll then tell us whether the black colour that we've got here is actually correct for the leather jacket. That's actually a perfect match. So we don't actually need to use any of the tinters on this particular item. So we can now proceed to do the balance of the jacket. We'll continue to dab that on all over. Remembering to get right underneath the arm here and along the seams. By dabbing it on you get a much more realistic finish than just wiping it on because what, the last thing you want is to actually get street marks in your finish. It needs to be realistic. That's the upper section all coloured. We now very quickly dry that. So again you're going to get the noise from the hairdryer. That's now done, we'll now move the arm up to do the lower section and the cuff area here. Again, exactly the same principle, putting it on and dabbing it on. There's more than sufficient dye here to do this arm. You could actually probably do the full arm both sides if you wanted to.
just need to get into the crease areas here. Again, okay, dab that in both sides to ensure that that's taken. That's that fully recolored. We'll now proceed to dry that again with the hair dryer. The little tear that was in the leather, just here, as you can see, has now completely gone and is invisible. It's a very good repair. The next stage is the clear coat sealer, to seal in all that dye that you've actually just applied on the surface of the leather here. That's already feeling nice and soft and looking very brand new again. So you've got your matte finish and your gloss finish. You can mix these together to get your satin, which is what this finish is on this jacket. Once you've got those two in there, you can just give that a little bit of a mix with your mixing stick you've got here. Just carefully mix that up to make sure it's all mixed together to create your satin finish. Next stage is to apply the clear coat sealer. Again, you apply it in exactly the same method as what you've done with the black dye. Getting a small amount onto your sponge making sure the sponge has got the clear coat sealer in and we're going to, again we're going to dab that onto the surface to ensure that it covers everything and seals in that colour. What you need to do is to actually apply two or three good coats of the sealer to seal it all in. Drying between each coating. I would say put on three coats onto this particular jacket and it will make it really nice and soft and beautifully supple and perfectly sealed in. And it will last as long as it has done previously for, for so many years to come. You can see on the odd occasion that it is sort of creating like a little sort of foamy effect. That's quite natural for the lacquer to do that. That will just automatically disperse as soon as the heat gets put on it anyway. And it'll dry that all out. Just proceed over the whole jacket to colour that back in. And that'll be a perfect match. And you won't be able to tell that there's been a repair done there. Keep dabbing the actual lacquer, the little foam that's created will disperse anyway.
getting into those little creases there either side seal them in just the cuffed area to do now and then that's it done with its first coat you would then proceed to do the same thing with the clear coat finish another two or three times to give it a really good strong finish it's going to last for many years again we're going to dry that with the hair dryer now then once it's dried you can leave it for about 48 hours to fully cure on the arm then you can actually protect that with the leather protection cream that came in the leather care kit we now proceed to dry that with the hair dryer so excuse the noise That's it, all done. All sealed, coloured and finished. We'll just leave that now for a good 48 hours and then we can proceed with the protection cream and it's all protected again. I would actually do the whole jacket with the protection cream to make sure that it's all sealed in and beautifully nourished and softened up. And it's ready to wear. Thank you very much.